welcome back to Angel's Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your monthly general love message. And of course, we are starting with the love birds. All right, angels, we're looking for positive energy for Pisces who are in a beautiful, beautiful romantic bond. We're doing something different this month. We're only going to read the messages up right yes yes i just got the got the message and i got the memo so that's what we're doing this month all right angels high vibrations for lovely lovely pisces who are whoa in a beautiful relationship this month angels we're looking for joy yes we are thank you thank you and and, and thank you there we go upright getting some more positive high vibrations and moving on to come on angels moving on to the dragon's deck yes yes and yes come on angels what is going on here hmm there we go now are we ready you're like, yeah, we're ready. All right, sit back, relax. Let's take a peek at what's going on in your beautiful love bond. It's that, that committed love bond. We have manifestation, four of spades, four of swords, and realign. So when it comes to your love relationship, I see that you are trying to manifest maybe a home or maybe some deeper security in your relationship. I see you pondering, praying and meditating a lot. You're trying to change things. I feel like there's something in your relationship you're trying to readjust. Okay, um, you're trying to get more security in out of your love bond. Now, let's look at the recent past here. We have the silver waterfall, the four of clubs, the three of swords, and the union. So in the recent past with the silver waterfall, I feel like you were, you, you and your partner were really in your emotions. Someone was being quite stubborn, and I feel like that stubborn really hurt. I feel like really hurt the other person. It may have even been a love triangle situation, but I feel like you two really, even though there may have been um, um, someone else coming in between, I still believe that you two stayed together, okay? Now, that was in the recent past, okay? Now, in the middle of the month, we have the resolving the conflict, the six of hearts, ace of wands and boundaries so i feel like in the middle of the month with the resolving the conflict you will be resolving the conflict because this love is meant to last quite a long time with the um the ace of of wands there is a new beginning coming from this but in this new beginning you must you must pisces set some boundaries and this is a new beginning within the relationship now when we look at the end of the month we have connection we have the nine of spades we have the four of wands and energy so by the end of the month i see you guys getting along beautifully the nine of spades is telling me that you're letting go of a lot of things that kind of got in the way of this of your happiness and not only did you let it go so that you can have this i feel like it also gave you new energy in it like it breathed new life into the relationship almost like you forgave and you let it go and that's what's helping you come to this beautiful beautiful four of wands security in love now when we look at your bonus you have the creativity the nine of clubs the high priestess and resilience so i feel like with the creativity you guys your love is so unique it's not like anyone else's i feel like there's a lot for you to talk about in regards to this there's a lot that people don't really know about your relationship but that's what keeps it going that's what keeps it moving forward okay so i feel like this is a month that you're doing a lot of work to find more security in your relationship more um like you need a foundation you're working on that deep foundation whatever 
upset the relationship. You're willing to let bygones be bygones. You're willing to let it go because if you don't let it go, you're not going to get your joy, right? You're willing to let it go so that you can have that beautiful connection that you are looking for. Now, let's, and don't pretend to let it go. Don't say, I let it go, but I didn't, right? You got to really let it go. Now, Let's tidy up here and we're going to get right into singles and couples. Please timestamp below. Yes, for singles. So, you know, we got to pay it forward, right? Since you guys got to go first. All right. You're like, Dora, I am not doing your work. All right. Let's move on, shall we? Hmm. Singles looking for love. Let's get right into this. Angels. Thank you. High vibrations for singles looking for love in the month of September. All of the cards will be read upright. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Moving on to my mama's deck. Angels, we're looking for some joy. Yes, we are. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Come on. There we go. Now. Let's add one from the Rider deck. Ah, ah, one from the Rider deck. All right, let's keep on shuffling. Let's keep on shuffling here. Ah, there we go. And let's keep on shuffling. And these are all right side up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And one more. Just, just one more. That's it. Just one more. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and add one from the Dragon's deck. Come on, angels. Positive energy, high vibrations. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. And there we go. Okay, so singles looking for love. <laughs> let's take a peek, shall we? We have dating. Ah, the Jack of Clubs, the star card and gather. So I, yeah, I see you dating Pisces. There is someone, someone, maybe they're younger and maybe not younger in age, but maybe younger in energy. It feels like this is your dream come true. And I feel like you're wanting them close to you. You're definitely wanting them close to you this month. Now, let's take a peek Let's take a peek. Yes, in the recent past, you had the sacred woman. Yes, with the four of clubs, the three of swords, and energy. So in the recent past, I see you were doing some healing, Pisces. I feel like you were getting grounded in your thoughts about some pain that you've had in the past and that it kind of, that energy kind of hung around a little bit, that pain from the past. Yeah, but I see that you were doing a lot of work to heal that part. Now, that was in the recent past. Now, in the middle of the month, we have the garden, we have the king of hearts, the ace of wands, and prosperity. So in the middle of the month with the garden card, I feel like sit back, relax, and let love come to you because it will come to you. There is a new beginning and that new beginning will grow. So yes, I see love coming into your world this month. Looking into your the end of the month, we have boundaries, the 10 of spades, the king of cups, and organize. So by the end of the month, you're going to have to set some boundaries. I feel like love is going to be a lot of work because whoever this is coming into your world is a little bit needy, <laughs> just, just a little bit needy. So I feel like you're going to have to prioritize your time with this person. Now, Let's take a peek at your bonus. You have serendipity, the seven of spades, the six of swords, and childlike. So your bonus is telling me that love will be coming in and out of your life this month. Have faith, have faith that things are moving forward. And I feel like you're very happy about that. Yes, you're very, very happy about that. So yes, there's people coming into your life. And I feel like 
I feel like enjoy, enjoy this love that is coming into your world, but make sure because it feels a bit, sometimes a bit intrusive. Maybe you have work to do, maybe you have studying to do, and you can't give all your time to this person. So be mindful of that, that, yeah, you know what kind of energy I'm talking about, but it does nonetheless feel good. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.